Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do fiber arts, yarn podcasts, vlogs, live knitting streams on this channel and today we are doing another I guess this is just going to be an annual thing now but uh this is a easy christmas gift knitting or crochet ideas video both free and paid patterns i feel like last year i gave you guys so many cute 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 ideas that today um i hope i can only live up to that video <laughs> and this video is a great excuse for me to wear a red lip so i think this is just going to be tradition now um this red is bright and we love it uh today i am wearing my beautiful sweater number 15 by my favorite things knitwear i knit it in the dusty artichoke in knitting for olive merino and kid silk mohair so i will just stand up and show you guys oh my gosh i'm like re-remembering me knitting this guy and remembering how nice it felt and i'm sad that i can't experience that again so i literally wrote down like a huge list of everything that i want to talk about i know this is probably coming to you guys a little bit later so it's like in december and i'm assuming you guys are like frantically trying to come up with some ideas so these patterns are quite fast they're quite small quite short things that you can add on to a gift if you feel like your gift is kind of small so yes i hope we love um it, i'm breaking them down into little sections you know i have a pity knit section already so hopefully we can do this in a timely yet descriptive yet uh, succinct video. So I will start off with just kind of miscellaneous things that I was kind of loving. I went on Ravelry just to search for some beautiful pieces. First, I'll start off kind of not necessarily like a gift, but more just something for yourself and decorating. I fell in love immediately when I saw it, the Afton Strick Advent Calendar. So bam it is essentially just like a huge <laughs> blanket wall um, that you hang and it has little pockets in them where you can add little advent beautifulnesses of course can't do it this year because december has already started but for next year because it is such a big piece in my opinion you can just like do it you could do it with your family i feel like i missed out in my childhood because we never did advent calendars and i now as an adult am gravitated to like all the advent calendars and it was such a joy making the advent calendars this year so i personally i feel like if i can i would love to make it and then you just like drop a couple like little cute little trinkets in them and just treat yourself and i and i want that for me <laughs> so yeah the pattern's in english and i just and i was really worried because sometimes she doesn't they don't translate everything into english and so i would love to make immediately but it's probably not gonna happen into that petite knit just came out with her christmas stocking and her little belt buckle thing i i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it and i'm gonna have it and i'm gonna keep it for myself i'm the name is not gonna be my child it's gonna be me it's gonna be tiffany on that stocking and i think i just want to put i just want to make a stocking for myself like i don't need anyone to gift anything for me i just want to gift it for myself so like whatever i buy for myself i'll just plop it in that bag when christmas comes i'll like open it take it all out and just be so happy so that is kind of my goal <laughs> uh for at least this month i would love to finish at least one stocking because i do have those little leather hooks that she sells eventually i can like give it to my children for them to use so i bought two so i'm gonna make two at least two and then a little bit like a little decorations and stuff patina it also just came out with her December bow which I think is adorable it's just a really nice decoration that you can hang up in the December time uh, I think it's like perfect season and it looks so cute so if you have any leftover yarn I think it's the perfect project and all of the proceeds for one year are going to like save the children save the children why does that sound like a crypto scheme I'm so sorry it probably was I was I was in a deep hole looking at that anyway other ornaments that I have been eyeing there's this one called Starna Starna there's a j in it i don't know why there is but it's by carolina eckerdahl it's free it's beautiful it's stunning it's everything i think it's a really cute pattern and i actually can't wait to make it for myself i think it's a really nice ornament and it's just really simple and beautiful and like if someone saw that in my house they'd be like oh my god did you make that i'd be like yes and that's everything i want all the time again if you have any leftover white yarn like why not i also found the fab ball i'll show it again it is so spunky so cool i 
didn't look up what yarn they used, but I probably should because I want to recreate different, I guess, Christmas ornaments like that. But it's so cute. It's free. Like, how can you go wrong? Like, if you just need a little more pizzazz in your Christmas tree, I would say why not? Use some leftovers. It's so easy to use up leftovers because, like, the pieces are so small. And I think it's a really cute gift as well. Like, you could probably make, like, six if you're ambitious. Put it in a little box. And just ship it away even even the star even the star one would be really cute if you like were giving maybe like a wine bottle and you like hang it on there you could be like it's just an ornament or something and just like give it away any sort of like embellishment of just like a little bit of hand knit stuff people who don't knit don't necessarily like appreciate the time and effort it takes to knit something so like just adding like buying something smaller but like adding a little knit thing just to decorate it just to add that little more customization i think is the perfect combination of the two to segue into that i think giving books is probably like my favorite gift to receive but it has to be like a book i like or else it's not that great to customize it you could add like a book cover or a hand knit bookmark which i think would just add just a little something something to the book that you're giving so i got you some patterns there is the book cover I guess it's just called the book cover. It's um, by Strict Planner 2018. Well, it was published there. I don't know who it's by, but it's free. I'll link everything in the description below. It just like covers the book. So if you have a friend who's really, really picky about books, like, like making sure that you don't get it dirty or kind of bending the binding, this is literally perfect because i know some books like if you put your fingers on them you can get like finger marks on and i'm like why would you make a book like this knit something over it's really simple and i think it's just a really cute idea and it keeps your hands warm when you're reading so like why not also these bookmarks i need a bookmark i'm not even kidding you i use like receipts or like cut paper or like notebooks that you get from realtors like i use that paper for bookmarks and it's so depressing <laughs> i'll like take out the bookmark and I'll be like why am i doing this to myself and then put it back in because i'm just too lazy to even have to deal with that so i think making a bookmark for someone is like low-key so cute so if you know how to crochet i highly recommend it because i think such a little detail and such a little gift goes such a long way because if that person you know reads a lot they're going to use it all the time so i found two that i love they're lace so it might be a little bit harder to get to like you might have to get like a certain crochet hook and like a certain size weight yarn but like i think it's worth it because they're so cute they're so cute okay the first one is called golden bookmark and the second one i found was remember the day bookmark i need bookmarks for like my agendas i need them to make sure i know where i am in my 52 weeks of socks like i'm like shoveling all the time so i honestly should make one for myself but the golden bookmark actually you can like you can weave in a ribbon which i think is just so adorable like you just give the book and you put the bookmark on top and then you just like fold it and wrap it and it's just gorgeous like how like and you just like put a little tag that says handmade by me nothing says i love you more than a little bookmark <laughs> like come on i'm very inspired and i really want to make it i don't know when i will have the time but i don't care because it needs to happen because i just have so many books that i like have to flip through again with all my knitting books i just have to flip through it because it's so hard to find a very specific pattern that you need because there's again 52 how am i going to find it probably should have bought the hardcover because i'm pretty sure it comes with a ribbon okay next i saw this it was so cute <laughs> like you don't need to make it's like literally this small i don't know who would want such a small little thing but if like say you're doing like a christmas swap or like a secret santa where the amount is like ten dollars or like fifteen dollars or like you like you know something like whatever and you're not and you just don't feel like it's appropriate to buy someone a gift card i would say make this i think it's such a funny little thing like if you're doing white elephant and the thing's like ten dollars i think this would be so cute but it's called cat in a life preserver right here gorgeous gorgeous it's just like this little cat in like a life preserver like how 
can you go wrong? I think it's a little bit more intermediate, but I think it is really funny and it's so cute. Like if you have a friend who's really into like these weird little trinkets and like adding them like little accessories in their desk, just something cute to look at. Like maybe your desk is like really, really sad and you just like like to add little trinkets on. I think this is really cute. It's by Mochi Mochi Land, the cutest name you've ever heard, but she has a bunch of other patterns of just like little intricate like stuffed animals i wish i could explain more and she has christmas themed ones like there was like deck the whales or something i don't know it was so adorable put it in like a little box just as in like an extra gift to someone just for the funsies if you have some like leftover yarn that you need to use up just make a little cat in a preserve like come on if i if i received it i'd just be like crying i'd be like the entire time and you have just made somebody's life. Okay, next one. I have been on this weird lookout for the perfect set of color work kind of like feral, but I wouldn't say it's feral. feral. It's like a Norwegian type of color work mitten and headband set i just think the look of it is so winter and i think that if i was in the snow and i was just like wanting just to look really cute and put together just like putting that headband and like on these gloves would be amazing so i'm gonna tell you guys what i found because it's absolutely gorgeous like i think the look white like a light blue that like has like a lilac feel to it. First is the Nightwalk Mittens. It's by Running Yarn. It's so, I love the pattern of it. I just feel like it looks like a snowflake flower. Just the funnest color work. I went into Black Sheep Yarns and she had a sample of the most beautiful mitten ever that was color work. And it just really inspired me to want to do one. I just think they're very like traditional and very, it just feels like it has a little bit of history to it uh, because it's probably it was probably made and worn by people who lived many years ago and I just love, I just love it. I think the perfect headband that would match with this is the Norwegian Headband by Ellie Crawford Cripps and that one's free. You get free pattern and some mittens and I think it would just be beautiful. I think it uses Let Loopy or something that is tech. So I, if you like those yarns, I would highly recommend it. I really want to do it so bad. Um, however, I do think it's probably not for people who don't like rustic yarns or like a rustic feel. I just love the look of it. It's just so beautiful and I, I don't even care if it'll feel funny, but it's something I would love to do so bad i just don't have the time uh but if i'm like feeling like if i'm just itching for a color work i think this would be the way to go so like if you were to give like a little set like with the headband and the gloves gifted away that person knows how much work you did because the color work is insane just a couple more accessories i have the maria vodder it is a mitten that looks exactly like the petite knit jenny jacket or jenny sweater i think if you were to get that for someone or make it for someone who has one of those things or if you just want to make it for yourself i think it's a right it's like really nice addition it has the same smock pattern i think it's classic it has a mohair it's gorgeous even if that person doesn't have any of the jenny stuff you could still give it to them and it's just a wonderful gift i think it's so luxe and so just so beautiful. I remember I went to a Christmas market and I almost bought this hat that was just mohair and it was so like I felt like I didn't deserve like something that beautiful and so I feel like giving that to someone is so nice. I'll just talk about some of the leftover petite knit patterns that I think would be really easy. The Sophie shawl, Sophie scarf. I love it to death i think it's a really easy pattern especially if you don't have a lot of time so it's a really easy just garter stitch with an i-cord edging and i think it's really cute it's a really cute gift you could wrap it in a little bow and give it off to someone and then finally the penny gloves i think fingerless gloves are really cool maybe not for everyone i feel like some people might not like it but I enjoy it so much. I also have my own fingerless glove set that has a matching pattern of the leg warmers. So I think those two together would look so cute. It just as a set you could give someone. It's really easy. Like honestly, the pattern took me a couple days to finish. So if you're in a real time crunch, it only takes you like for both the patterns combined, it'll take you about two balls of fingering weight yarn and two balls of mohair and you'll have leftover. So like if you're on a budget and if you're on a time crunch, I think those patterns are super simple. 
for you to try. We're on to socks, okay? Socks be getting its own section. So these guys are actually all free. I found them, they're so beautiful. Like how could you go wrong with them? So the first one is called Beaded Eyelet Sock. It is by Debbie Haymark. I don't know if I've talked about her before, but I love it. It's so cute. It's the eyelet pattern. It's kind of similar to Petite Knits. Uh, Rigmore tees if you guys have seen that try like the diamond I love it I think the look would be so beautiful for a sock just really dainty elegant quaint so this is how it looks like the pattern is on a website so that's like the one thing I don't love about it but I mean it's free like come on like super simple next I have the wood nymph sock and the thrift bloom so the wood nymph sock is by this handmade life and thrift bloom is by Lisa Sweat. They're they're both free. I think they're so beautiful, especially since they're free too. Like that's so lovely. It can get quite expensive if you like keep buying sock patterns. So I think these are just like a nice in between if you're just like, oh, I just want to make like a free sock or something. These ones are so beautiful, so dainty. If you have this friend who's just like the most elegant woman and she just you just think she deserves the socks she deserves some dainty cute socks so i love the lace work i think there's a little bit of cable in it as well or maybe faux cable but i think it would just be a really easy pattern i think lace is really easy and fast if you just want a little bit of extra umph to just a basic stockinette sock because i did give a stockinette like i gave an everyday sock to my friend and don't get me wrong it's beautiful it's it's timeless it's everything and he was a guy so it kind of made sense but if i really wanted to treat my friend real nice i would have knit them a lace sock because it's really fun to do i feel like you don't get too bored of it because of the patterns it is still fast enough that you can finish it in a relatively fast time finally just wanted to quickly end this off on my last section which is baby knits i <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't get me started, okay? I would love to knit something for my unborn children, but I think that's kind of weird. So Christmas is the best time for you to do all your children knitting. So do it, please. Okay, so the first one is Teddy Bear Baby Hat by Anna Nita Tololo. I'm so sorry, I'm saying everyone's names incorrectly, but it just looks like this. It reminds me a lot of, if you guys have ever been to a Gap outlet, um they have this teddy bear garter stitch cardigan and the hoodie has these little ears on them and i i like went into one before i started knitting like more intensely and i fell in love with it i think i like held that thing the entire time all my friends were in the store and my friend took a photo of me because i thought it was so cute <laughs> i like couldn't stop gawking over it. I think it looks very similar to one from Gap and I think it's just a cute pattern especially if your friend has literally just had a baby. To continue on with the bear theme, I really love the mini bear boots by Yord or Jord clothing. I think it's so cute. They have like little bear ears on them and they're just so adorable. Same like you could also make like the teddy bear sweater by Petite Knit. Like just anything teddy, I don't know why, it's just so fun and so perfect for babies. This is more like toddler, less baby, but I found this person, it's G Luo. I'm saying that wrong, but she has this garter hat and a sledding scarf. The sledding scarf is free, but I think the matchingness of the hat and the scarf together just looks so beautiful. I think she put it on her daughter or just like a random little girl, uh, but the pictures are so cute. Like just look at them and just fall in love. Um, I have to make this. I should probably make the free one like immediately um, with some leftover yarn, but I just think it's really cute. I honestly should make one for myself. I should double the size and just do it for me. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. I think sets are the way to go, especially if you're making something for a child because sometimes just kids don't need too many toys, okay? You just gotta get them something cute uh, and adorable to wear. I love this one so much. I need to buy it immediately and it's, I think it's a really easy pattern, especially if it's garter stitch. I hope I was able to get through a lot of patterns within a reasonable amount of time, and I hope that gave you guys some ideas uh, for you to make something quick and easy for just some added extra, like little sprinkles of joy in the gifts that you're giving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and push the notification bells if you want to be notified when I post. And 
yeah, happy holidays and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.